So often with audio analysis, we have to simulate a balanced or differential input into our audio circuits. So this might be typical of uh, resembling, say, a microphone or a transformer output. So what we can do is we have to set up voltage sources in LT Spice to simulate this. One common mistake is as follows. We've placed a uh, sinusoid voltage source here, 1 volts, 1 kilohertz, and we've connected the positive to one input of the differential amp and the negative into the other input of the differential amp. The trouble is with LT Spice, LT Spice requires that the voltage sources have a direct path to zero volts or a ground terminal in order to do the analysis. So if I run this analysis and I inspect the two inputs here we have a much lower voltage than we'd expect and here we have the one volt peak to peak that we we've put into the circuit itself but the output is going to resemble that because of the very low level going into one of the inputs so how can we effectively emulate a microphone or transformer input into our circuit well, if we look at this version, on the face of it, you think, oh, OK, this is this has got to be correct because we've introduced a path to ground for both voltage sources. We're driving the positive and negative with what we think is an antiphase or out of phase signal balanced. But in actual fact, what we're doing here is driving the circuit in common mode. If you consider this, if we flipped this around, if we inverted it, then essentially what we've got we're driving the um, the two inputs with the same signal. Of course, with this, we can add uh, different voltage levels, but they won't be out of phase. So I can demonstrate this. If we look at the analysis, look at the two inputs there, they're in phase with each other. And actually what we see is a zero output, which is what you'd expect with a differential amplifier um, because it, we're, we're multiplying with the gain factor, the difference between these input signals. So how can we fix that? Well, if we look at this here now, what I've done is I've spun one of the voltage sources around. Both voltage sources have a path to ground. So if I run this analysis, we will see this pin and this pin are now in antiphase with each other, which is fantastic. This is what we want. So this now resembles a microphone or a transformer output. Obviously we can set up the impedances of the sources. We can do that if we right click. We can set up various parameters including series resistance on our on our voltage sources. So if we look at the output now we will see that we get twice the output because we've got the one volt minus minus one volt we should get a two volt mm -hmm. output. We have another version here. Now, what we've done is we've introduced a common mode voltage here. And if we run this now, so this common mode is one volt. So we've still got the voltage sources in antiphase with each other, but we've got this common mode voltage. What we're able to do now, if we look at one, one of the legs, we'll see that this one volt peak to peak has been offset by one volt DC signal. Now I can make this common mode voltage anything I like. It can be a noise source, so I could put white noise, pink noise, anything I like into this, uh, injected into this system. And what we'll be able to do is uh, test our circuit and see how well it can reject the noise. I've placed another video on this type of analysis for you to look at. So have a look at that when you get a chance. But if we look at this signal here, we'll see it's again offset by one volt, but it's in antiphase. But if we look at the output, We'll see that the common mode, this one volt, has been removed and we get a correct operation of this differential amplifier. If we look at, this is sometimes a common mistake that's made. So we've got what we think is a differential signal and we've placed the common mode here. Um, but unfortunately, this will have the same effect as the very first circuit we looked at. We will get an offset in the first leg, but in the second leg, we get this or very small uh, sine wave and therefore the output isn't quite what we'd expect. Now, 
The ultimate solution, or what I think is the ultimate solution, is as follows. So just using these two voltage sources again, this becomes the differential source. And because these, these voltage sources are floating, that's why we need a path to ground. What I've introduced is this common mode voltage source here. Level up common mode. This is one volts. But I've placed these two series resistors here. So this positive phase has, has this path. This negative phase has this path. Now if we run this, what we'll see is we have our positive and we also have our antiphase negative and we get our output. What we can also do with this circuit is we could change the values of these, these R resistors to change the overall impedance of our source if we want to do that. I can take the common voltage out and that shows you the operation without any DC offset. As before, we can have this as a noise source and we can see what the rejection is of this common mode voltage on the output. So if this were one volt, then rejection is one minus one. So we should see zero on the output.